Hey guys, what's up? So recently on my stream, um, I've been getting asked kind of the same question um, over and over again, and it's regards to labs and how to push certain rooms um, on labs. So I'm just gonna do like a, maybe like a bit of a mini series showing you, at least to me, in my opinion, um, how to kind of best push these rooms or how maybe not to push them. Um, I maybe have like 5,000 hours in labs and although I'm not the best sort of a mechanical player in terms of aim and my movements, um, I still kind of have that kind of extra information which, you know, if you, are a, if you are a main guy in labs, your aim is probably way better than mine and your movement's probably way, way better. But what you, what you might be lacking is just that like insider info and uh, that's what I'm going to try to help you guys with today. Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so... I'm not going to waste you guys time, I'm just going to show you guys three ways to push into Red Room. Just short and sweet, maybe just make it super easy for you guys to understand. And just kind of maybe develop a thought process that's almost like mine. I'm not saying mine's the best, I'm just saying mine, it works. Um, so, you know, feel 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 free to use it or or not, uh, it's similar to you guys. So the way that I push Red Room, is I'll come out, I'll open the door, the first corner you want to clear is the guy that might be standing on the water bottles easy to carry him just throw it there in the corner it's gonna get stuck if, if he's there he's dead or, or if he runs out you will hear his audio cue and you'll just pre-fire him and he's dead right that's pretty straightforward if there's a guy there and he, and he, and he ran back he's gonna be holding so angle or he's gonna be up straight holding the angle so or there's gonna be a guy Inside violets. Holding an angle like so, or holding the angle like so. It's you'll see the more you play labs, the more you realize people kind of hold the same angles um, in, in these rooms, right? So once you so once you've opened the door, you've naded that spot, you know this is clear. What you want to do is you want to fall back, kind of to the back here, and just play for information, right? So you do so you're doing run peaks. And essentially what you're doing, you're checking those spots that I showed you and you're looking to see if they are in fact holding those angles because there's no other angles to, to kind of hold there, right? Then let's say for example, you see a guy holding the left side of the violet door for you. So you run peeking, right? You, you run peeking the guy and you see him right over here, right? So you, you playing for your information. You, you're doing your run peek. You know, oh, okay, okay, okay. You see, you see where he is. You just, pop out. you just pop out, and he's dead. Same goes if, if he's holding that angle, and if he's holding that one, same thing. So you run here, oh, bam! You see his head, and you pre-fire his head, right? Um, if your pre-fire spray is, is is um is on target, there is zero time for that guy to actually even react. Um, and that's pretty much the easiest way to clear these original angles inside Red Room. Now, obviously there could be guys at at the back of the room just kind of hiding. And once you've cleared that, you, you don't see anyone. You, what you do is you close that door, come down here, just make sure you hug this right inside. If you go here, yeah, they can see you. Um, so I hug here. Yeah. You can even just hop here on top and they just fall down. That's fine as well. Uh, but once you get you, just you shoot the glass, you heat in a nade, and then you'll often hear them run, uh, more or less to like that front piece there, right? Now, these two ways you can kind of do directly after each other, right? Or you can use them as individual sort of plays, right? But you always want to nade that original corner to make sure there's no one there. So the next thing that you can do. All right, so you've kind of pushed these guys back over here now. All right, so then bam, you see there's a guy holding an angle there, or maybe he's back on that corner. Just get a nade in the corner there. Push it. Push it. And 99% um, of the time, these guys, the second they hear the nade, they're going to be like this, maybe holding here. The nade's going to bounce. They're going to turn around. They're going to try to get back to cover. You're gonna pop out of here and you have essentially their backs. It's you know, you can you can definitely kill two or three that way. Um, just make sure you try to get your nade to bounce and hit the tree. That's kind of that's kind of the trick. Because you want your nade to bounce, hit the tree, or hit this thing over here so it lands over here. So if you're over here, 
you are safe, right? So you kind of, you know, people don't expect a nade push, even experienced players don't. So that's, that's like a combination. So you can use that original way to clear it and then nade push it, or you, or you nade that original corner and then you just throw a nade in and you don't clear those other two corners because you're a fucking Chad and, and you're kind of a monster. Um, that's a way of doing it. Um, but let's say like these guys are like maybe inside um, inside Violet now, for example, and now you have no like you you have no more nades or whatever, or there's or there's a guy holding that sort of angle there, right? And now you as a solo player or if you as part of a team, right? The third way um, it does require I think at least the level 40 strength, but it's quite a it's quite a it's a play which you don't use a lot, but it's never ever fails me because people just don't. I can expect it ever, right? So, if these guys playing here, or guys kind of playing here, and if you're a, and if you're a solo or if you're a two man, it's, it's even better because you just have your friend just kind of make some noise here. Maybe he's doing all the run peaks, and what you do, if you're solo, easy, you close the door. If you're if if you're in a team, you just have your friend maybe spam spam all the voice commands and shoot and jump around. You know what I mean? Just kind of be. Just kind of be a nuisance so these guys can't hear exactly what's happening then what you do is you come here make sure this glass here is broken pop up on this rail jump and bam you are over here and for the poor soul that's over here or over there they they're gonna be like what the fuck just happened they're gonna hear glass they're probably gonna peek it and then they're not gonna expect you to be here man on this ledge and it's a kill and a kill yo guys if this video did end up helping you guys at all if you guys don't mind leaving a like and maybe a small comment maybe saying um you know how it could maybe be done differently or if you guys have any any other ways of doing it um i'm also looking to learn myself um so yeah feel free to drop a like and if you guys to tell me what i'm doing wrong or if this has worked for you guys thanks